Hey guys, today I'm going to be showing you how to do this DIY layered bracelet. It's pretty easy to make and all the supplies you can find at your local craft store, which is pretty awesome. You can go with whatever color scheme you like, like gold and brown or brass, whatever. But today we are going to be doing silver with gunmetal chain and turquoise deerskin leather. First thing you're going to need are some findings of your choosing, two small circle pieces that will connect on both ends of your bracelet, something that will connect all of your findings together so it can dangle really beautifully from your bracelet, about a yard and a half of small chain, and a yard and a half of deerskin leather. The tools you're going to need for today are pliers, E6000 glue, some basic thread like this, and if you're ghetto, some kitchen aid scissors. I don't really know where my other scissors are. Okay, that's about everything. Let's get started. First thing you're gonna need to do is cut your first piece of leather. I like to wrap this around my hand about one and a half times and that is usually about perfect. Next, we're gonna cut the chain and it is not going to be the same length as the leather strips. They're gonna be about a thumb length shorter. That's because we're gonna be folding over the leather piece so you need a little bit of extra room. This is where the little circle thing I was talking about comes in handy. This thing is going to be hooked on right there. Once you've measured out your chain, go ahead and start cutting the pieces. They should all be the same length. I'm going to be cutting four today because I want to have a lot of chain happening in my bracelet. Now that looks about right. Now we're ready to move on to the next step, which is incredibly annoying. So you're going to take your sewing string and go ahead and cut yourself a little piece. We're going to be threading it through the last link in every single chain so that they're all connected together at one center piece. So go ahead and do that to all of them until they're connected, and then you're gonna wanna tie a knot at the end of the string. I tie about like six or seven, or I don't even know how many this is. Next, it's time for the E6000. Now this glue is incredibly messy. You're supposed to let it set for a little bit, so it kind of gets a little extra sticky. I have no idea. I read the directions and I'm just like, I don't know what I'm doing. So this stuff is pretty potent. So you want to make sure that you have a window open and you're not just like, you know, in a cardboard box using this because it can be very dangerous. So you've been warned. All right, go ahead and take your chains that are connected by this string and go ahead and apply a little bit of glue, like so, looking good. Then you're gonna wanna grab your little Cheerio piece that I said is gonna connect everything together and uh, slide the leather through it and bend it over and connect it to the glue and just let it sit there for a while. Go ahead and press down. If it's messy, don't worry, there will be time to clean this up. It's also gonna get covered up. So even if the string is sticking out, just don't worry about it. Once it's dried, you're gonna go ahead and add a little Little bit of glue to the top of it and attach the other piece of the leather like so and don't worry if it gets messy you can clean this up later it's really not that big of a deal we're gonna cover this up anyways so ever so delicately just you know press it down until it's good and you should have something that looks like this after it's done drying I'm using two different types of deerskin leather today I have 1 8 and 3 16 3 16th I'm using for the actual bracelet piece and the 1 8th I'm using to cover up some little unnecessary parts that I don't want shown. So what you're going to do with the smaller leather is you're going to wrap it around that ugly part we just glued up. I like to do this about two or three times. It kind of looks really pretty and it, it like hides the fact that you might have been a little messy with your glue and it just looks really cool next to the little circle thing and your gems. Well, I need to learn some like DIY jewelry vocabulary because I have no idea what I'm talking about. All right, so go ahead and apply the glue around the top piece of the leather and just start putting it on, just wrapping it around. This is also very messy, but don't worry about it because this glue is really easy to clean up. Once you're done, it should look something like this. This is definitely my least favorite part. But this part's the cool part! Oh wait, before we get to that, it's time for tea. Mmm, delicious. Okay, so I have no specific directions on how to do this. Uh, it's kind of just a mess. You want to tangle everything up so that when it's on your arm, it looks really cool and not, you know, organized. Just like kind of a bit of a mess. The way that the chain and the leather look together, it just is really cool. So you want to create some type of tangled effect. Oh, I love Tangled, it's my favorite movie. Just mess around with it until you figure out uh, something that you like. 
but do make sure all the pieces are tangled together. And then we're gonna do this annoying string thing again. Oh, I hate this so much. Almost as much as I hate using the E6000 glue. Once you got all four pieces of the chain together, go ahead and glue it onto the other side of the leather. Now when you do this, you wanna make sure the chain is actually really nice and tight. And the leather is actually supposed to be quite a bit loose. We don't want the leather to be like on a flat surface completely straight. You want it to have some give. So with keeping all of that in mind, the chain is super straight. Both pieces of leather are a little bit uh, looser. We only want to be using about a thumb's length of the leather. So if you're gluing down the chain and you have a longer piece than that, then you need to make it so it's a little bit shorter on the leather end. And just go ahead and repeat to this side what we did to the previous one. Okay, I know what you're thinking. Wow, this is a really tiny bracelet. I'm not for sure if it's gonna fit around my hand. Silly, we're not finished. Next thing you're gonna do is go ahead and put another piece of leather that you haven't cut yet through the opposite end of the little Cheerio loop thing. That's what I'm calling it now. You're gonna do something similar to what we've done before, but the leather is still attached to the spool. If you've already had your leather pre-cut, you can measure this out to be about like four inches, just to be safe. This is going to be what we're using to tie our bracelet on our wrist. Now you're gonna wanna go ahead and cover this up with the smaller piece of deer skin leather and just wrap it around like you did on the other two sides of this bracelet. Just pretty simple, very self-explanatory. This is just to make it look pretty. And once you've done that, when you cut this, go ahead and cut it at a bit of an angle so that um, when it hangs on your arm, it looks kind of, kind of cool. I don't know, just, I, I just think it's cool. Just do it. Yay, we're done, it looks cool. Now this is my favorite part. We get to do the findings. Findings are the little jewelry pieces that hang from your bracelet. And this is like definitely my favorite part just because it's probably the easiest. So I have a bunch of different pieces to choose from and I do like my options, but you don't want this to be too clunky looking. I would say start with a good amount of pieces and just start seeing what fits, what looks nice together. And then by doing that, you'll be able to figure out like, okay, do I want two pieces on my bracelet or do I want six? I don't know, you may just go crazy and put every single one that you picked out. But today I'm only gonna be using two. I chose the feather because I just love feathers and the little black bird. I thought it offered some nice contrast to my bracelet. Also looks really cool with the gunmetal chain. So this is pretty self-explanatory. Go ahead and use your pliers to open up this little hoop thing to attach your findings to it and then go ahead and put it on your bracelet. Ooh, that looks fabulous, I love it. Then all you have to do is clamp it shut and you're done. I always wondered how jewelry people did that. It's pretty easy. Now I know the secrets. <laughs> And there you have it, the final product. I like layering this with, you know, a couple other different things. Like I'm using this little studded bracelet right here. I think it looks cool. You can do whatever you want. You can wear it alone or with other things. It looks sweet with a muscle tee and a button up. I don't know. These are like my favorite things. The inspiration for this DIY was I bought a brown leather bracelet very similar to this a while back and I loved it so much. I'm like, wow, I wonder if I can make this. And I ended up trying and I could. So I wanted to share this idea with you. I hope you enjoyed this DIY. I hope to do more in the future. If you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more videos every single week. I'll see you guys later. Bye. But this was fun. I wish I could start my morning like gaming every day. That would be so great, <laughs> it's right? It's a good workout. I know. I've been sweating for the past hour, which is a little embarrassing. You were sweating before we started playing, so That's true. I'm not it was a little sure. clammy. That's true. She gave me the controller. Actually, the controller slipped out of your hand. Yeah. Do you remember? Oh, I don't think it slid. I think I just threw it, which was even worse. You threw it? You threw it at me. I didn't